I apologize in advance if the wind that picks up behind me messes with the mic. I'm trying to protect it as best I can, but I didn't want to sacrifice this beautiful spot for the background. What a beautiful spot it is to go fishing. Have you seen those images shared on Facebook and Instagram of the soda can tab that's cut into the shape of a fish hook? A survival fish hook. Do those actually work though? I went onto YouTube before I was making this video and most of the videos are just people cutting it out but not actually testing them. There is one video of a guy who catches an oversized goldfish with one. If it works, then that's a great survival trick to know because you can find soda cans alongside dirt roads in the woods uh, all over the place. So if it works as a fish hook, that'd be great. But does it? We're going to find out. We're going to put it to the test. With any good test, you need a control group. And in this case, our control group is four teenage boys. This morning, uh, they, one of them caught three salmon. One was a keeper. And this afternoon, uh, another one caught uh, a brook trout. So we know the fish are moving. And if this works, and I think that's a massive if, then I'll, I'll ratchet it up further. We'll um, take some paracord and separate that for fishing line. A lot of people don't know that about paracord. They think it just, it's just a strong rope, and it is that, but you can also take it apart. And I'll, I'll, I'll make a bobber out of a piece of floating softwood. But I don't think we're going to get that far. But before we do anything like that, we need to make the fish hook. And to make a fish hook, we need a tab. So the first thing we want to do is to try to get this little circular tab off intact and that's where we'll tie the line. Actually, <laughs> that took the top right with it. We're going to have to try this again. Oh darn. There we go. I've got snips here and you could probably do this with a multi-tool but it's a little bit easier if you've got the right tool for the job. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make our hook and barb. So I'm going to come down right like that. Now I need to get rid of this middle piece. Just get a little bit out of the way to start. I'm going to clip this top off behind the tab. Now I want to make this as lean and small as I can so it's not a gigantic monster hook and looks like I think is that still intact no I blew that one 12th beer is a charm now you can hook it around here without this little circular tab oh, I just lost it all right another one now again in a spiral situation you can make this happen without this little circular hole but I like to have it if I can get it to run the line through but if I can improvise it and pop it out, I'll take it. Just, this is a fragile piece of... Uh, I just lost it. Good thing we've got plenty of empties. Maybe it should be a little more aggressive. Nope, that was too aggressive. Nope, fail. Okay, I've got one. This is what I was trying to do. See that? I want to use that to tie my line too. I need to cut hook in. I'm going to go straight down like this. My first cut. And that should be my hook. Now I'm going to clip this off just on the side of the little loop that I'm going to tie into. And then cut out this middle. Fold this over. My tab is not really where I want it. Okay. Now I've created this loop that I can run the line through. I folded this thing over, got the loop that I wanted, tied my string to it, and this is this is the end result of the hook. But look at this compared to a uh, conventional, you know, fish hook. I mean, it, the size is just night and day. So I'm really suspect of one, how are we going to get worms on here without ripping them to shreds, and two, what kind of fish is going to chomp down on this thing and and stay hooked. Our next step is digging for worms. It rained a bit last night which made the black fly situation really bad, but should help digging for worms. Here's a little one, but I'm really looking for something bigger, some night crawlers, because that's not going to fit on that hook. Nothing there. Ugh. Ah. Bingo. You know, if I had like a ball of dough or, I don't know, anything besides these worms that just seem to get ripped to shreds on this gigantic hook and maybe I'd have better luck but we'll find out stay right on there all right first cast here goes nothing 
let it sit and see what it'll do if anything. Not much, it's coming right to shore. Not much at all. I will say that that uh, hook is flashing some shine in the water and that's a good thing. Just to hope the bait stays on. Rain's picking up too. I had nothing in the first round this morning. Rain's picking up, starting to soak my iPhone, so I'm gonna turn this off. Um, but I'm gonna keep hammering it, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll try a few other lures too, just to, as a control. This is a survival situation. It's gonna be a hungry morning. I know I could test this hook in different circumstances on different days, and admittedly, the control group, the boys fishing, they were using artificial lures when they were catching everything, but, I'm gonna rate this hook as a fail because um, while one, I haven't had any luck and two, it's just so massive and it rips the bait apart. And I just, I'm really suspect and I've yet to see somebody else successfully use this except for the one guy on YouTube who hooked a gigormous goldfish and he really had to work at that and he wasn't using worms. And in a survival situation, you're not gonna be able to Get little clumps of dough or whatever, some alternate bait. So let me know if you've if you're watching this and you've actually successfully used this soda can, beer can, tap, fish hook. Now while this survival fishing hook didn't really work out and was a fail, the trip itself was absolutely not a fail because we had beautiful scenery. The boys got to do some cooking. They got to mess around with some fire steel, ferro rod, fire making, fishing, cooking a fish over fire. And I got to see a black bear. That doesn't happen very often. In fact, it's only the second time I've ever seen a black bear in the wild. They're very skittish. Now, if I can just find my way Back to camp.